making strongman kegs. Kegs are very versatile. You can use them for keg presses, keg toss, keg carries, keg over the bar, keg loading. Uh, <clears throat> you can make them heavy for like real hard strength stuff. You can make them light for conditioning. They're an awesome piece of gym equipment. Now, depending on how heavy you want your keg, you can fill it with water, sand, crushed stone, a mixture of sand and crushed stone. You can even fill it with lead. Lead shot is cheap for filling shotgun shells, but it's not cheap for filling kegs. So you can even go buy a tire shop, see if they'll give you their old tire weights. All those options will work great. I'm gonna be filling a, this particular keg with a mixture of fine playground sand and some pea gravel, which is like real small crushed stone. This works pretty good because, you know, the sand gets down around the stone, you can pack a lot in there. So this sucker will be pretty close to 300 pounds. When you will need one funnel, I've cut the spout off of this funnel to make the mouth a little wider, which will speed things along. Roll the tape, because we're going to tape the funnel to the keg. A two inch plumber's cap. This is going to keep the material in our keg after we're done and when we're training with it. These things are usually about two bucks at any hardware store. Needle nose pliers, flat top screwdriver, a bathroom scale, so we can see how heavy we're making the keg as we're going. Do not use your wife's fancy glass body mass index $300 bathroom skill because you may drop the keg and it will break. I know this from experience. And one keg. Kegs are under pressure, so the first step in making your strongman keg is releasing the pressure. You'll find a little ball in the middle of your keg here. You can press that with your flat top screwdriver and slowly release the pressure. But here is the most important step in the whole keg making process. Angle it away from your face when you release the pressure. Draft beer cold in a glass, good. Warm, stale draft beer from the bottom of an old keg, not good. Okay, here we go, smelly old beer. Here we go. Pressure okay, turns out there was still some beer in there, so double check before you pull the center out of your keg. That's it. Now, after you got the pressure off your keg, you'll find a little keeper ring here. Um, you can grab it with your needle nose pliers where the lip, where the ring little joins together and pull it out. Sometimes they could be a little tricky. You might need to get a hammer and a small screwdriver, but usually they come pretty good for you. It just could be sharp, so don't cut your fingers. Here we go. Once you got your keeper ring out, just give the valve a little twist so it lines up there with the little slots in your keg. You'll see them when you're working on yours. Grab it with your needle nose pliers and pull the sucker out. There we go. Old beer, yum. Now we're gonna get our garden hose and rinse the old smelly beer out of our place. All the neighborhood kids are gonna be over. There we go. Okay, it's important when making cakes to set aside a couple hours, make sure you've got lots of time to finish. Otherwise, you might get interrupted in the middle of the process, have to take your son to his doctor's appointment, and sit in a very warm, crowded waiting area covered in beer. He stinks. Now yeah, we're back from that doctor's appointment. Keg is all rinsed out and clean, so we just taped our funnel to the keg. Okay. So if you're using two different materials for your keg, intermix them so you don't have like one side of your keg way heavier than the other side. So we're going to put in a little rock. Then we're going to put in a little sand. Give that a little stamp. And we'll do that the whole time we're filling the keg. A little trick for filling your keg a bit faster when the sand gets a little wet 
use that smelly valve that came out of the keg. So just weighing as we go, so far we're at 147.2 pounds. If this was this old house with Bob Vila, all this would be edited out. You want to see this shit. All right, we got her completely full and she came out at 249.6. So we're going to call that an even 250. So all you got to do is shove your plumber's cap on, tighten her up with your screwdriver and tighten her down pretty good because you do not want this thing coming off when you're in the middle of training. And that's a wrap. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Hi everyone, me and my dad were working on a cake. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of work and uh, it was pretty fun. So uh, hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.